Hey guys and gals and welcome to Game Slobs. My name is Coops and today we're doing Path of Fire, Enemy of My Enemy. Now, um, I did record the previous instance um, just before this one. Unfortunately, Stupid here didn't record the sound, so there you go. But having said that, it wasn't that exciting of an instance. Basically, we went and we fought Iberu and then Kazmir used her illusions on the party. We went in, we found out that there's um, a couple of settlements where the the awakened commanders are, as it were. <clears throat> We're just going to get them together and send them against Balthazar by word of Joko himself. So there you go, and that's pretty much what it was. So nothing exciting, there was no real fighting other than the Yiberu fight where we did kill him. Which was nice. So now I'm going to go into this one. Um, second part of Enemy of My Enemy. So, yeah. Let's have a look. The Troop Marshal. So there's going to be obviously another one, I, I believe. So we'll go for that one after this. Commander, now that you're here, I can put us back into a Mordant Crescent, guys. Hooray. <laughs> was anyone able to learn anything useful about the Troop Marshal? The Order of Shadows says the Forged have a history of attacking his training facility here. So there's no love lost between Troop Marshal Ogan and the Forged? If we sell this to Ogan as revenge against Balthazar, maybe he'll sign on. If we can convince him that the Archon's the guy who will get it done. Okay. So let's do this. Archon, sir. Welcome. You honor us with your presence. I bring orders directly from the most tenacious King Palawa Joko for the Troop Marshal's ears only. Yes, sir. Follow me. Archon, greetings. Worm Master Ecolo told me you might come calling. Then you know that King Joko has asked me to gather and lead his armies against Balthazar. And I can think of no greater honor than to follow the storied Archon into battle. Unfortunately, the Forge have a huge foundry nearby, with a portal they use to refresh their ranks. If I were to leave now, there would be no one to monitor the troops and supplies that are coming in and out of the site. Why haven't you just attacked the foundry and destroyed the portal? Oh, this is a training camp. I don't have the seasoned troops I'd need to attack a target that big. If I did your job for you and found and destroyed the portal, you'd have no excuse not to follow me into combat. Archon, if you can do that with these recruits, I'd follow you into the underworld and back. Maybe next time. For now, just watch how the Morden Crescent gets it done. Then start packing your kit for Kodash. I've only had time to teach these recruits basic combat commands. The Forged have kidnapped many of my recruits. If you see any inside, please get them out. I need all the bodies I can get. I suggest you watch and learn from the safety of your camp. Maybe next time you won't be so cowed by a horde of empty armor. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay, hang on. We are coming with you. No, I have to succeed where Ogan couldn't. With these recruits. Great. I'm going to end up soloing this, aren't I? I'm going to end up doing this on my own, because these muppets aren't going to be able to do it.
want a job doing, guys? You just gotta do it yourself. Got to be through that gate. Is one dead already? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So there's um So there's obviously some place where you can get more mummies to get all fifteen. Um ten boys with a single mummy bomb. I'm gonna come back and do those because that, that sounds a bit ball achy. I bet you there's more down there and this yeah. explains how Balthazar is able to maintain armor and troop levels this far south. There's the portal up on that walkway. I just want to find a way to reach it. We're going to have to use a mummy bomb. Boom. Go. Go blano. Oh, it didn't even work. Oh, I see. The shield generator. That's probably what I need to get rid of. This way? I did see some steps. Maybe this is the way we need to go. Ah, it looks promising. <laughs> no idea where to go. Why can't I hurt him?
point of interest. If I can. No? Okay. Probably right down there, I'm gonna jump down. Um where is it? So it's that over there. Do I go down this way? That looks of it, yes. Oh, they're doing a good enough job melee attacking him. Okay, I need to send one in. Ah, oh, they're all dead. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. as well. Which is even more unfortunate. Oh no. It's me. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna survive, mind you. He's damn that guy. Oh he's got his magnetic shield thing up again. Run away, run away like a little girl. Oh crap, he's following me. Ah <laughs> Yeah, well, that's that then. <laughs> right, where are we going from? Um, outside. Oh, at least all the forge thing, mummy things come back. That's good. And you, come on. Okay, so let's try that again without the oopsie this time. of them, and then at least I'm going to stand a better chance. Okay. Probably some more down there, but I just... Oh, wrong way. Yeah, there's some more over there, look. I don't know whether I can reach them. No, I can't reach them. There he is, Lark. Everyone, go, 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 go. <laughs> Took him straight. Oh, come on. Go, kill him. That should bring Ogan on board. I think so. Okay, let's get out of this joint. 
So the uh, the achievements are gone now. So once you destroy the portal, that's all the achievements gone. So I suppose what you could do is kill all the enemies, um, but don't destroy the portal. Then go around and capture or get all your recruits to get the 15 that you need. Just a thought. Very impressive, Archon. Your reputation as a leader and a strategist is clearly well earned. I've slowed the forged reinforcements, but the key to stopping them is to take out Balthazar. A worthy goal. What I look forward to helping you achieve. Count me and my soldiers in. Assemble your troops and meet me outside Kodash. Once I command the full force of Joko's armies, the shunned god will fall. Regroup with your guild mates. They're outside. I'm just going to see if I can get this point of interest first. Yes, yes, I can. Now I've got to find my way out of here. Let's have a look. Going around, I guess. So it's pretty much as I said, we're basically uh, recruiting the troop marshals um, to help in the fight against um, Balthazar. So yeah, that's basically it. We're just tricking them into <laughs> into joining us. Okay. Let's go speak to... Okay, Kaz, Commander's back. Can we lose the maggot wear? I hate to admit it, but as unpleasant as Casimir's illusion is, it does appear to be working. Uh, I guess so. Next time, how about you three be the Awakened, and I'll be your captured char prisoner. Nice try, Cuddles. <laughs> that it better not stick. Only one of Joko's marshals is left. Shall we split up and ask around about Beast Marshal Oranko? It worked this time. We'll regroup again near the Necropolis. Okay. So that's that. So I'm going to now cut the video and get back into the next instance um, when I'll, I'll do that bit. So why not? I'll see you shortly. Hey guys and gals, and welcome back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, for the previous episode, I forgot to record the sound. Um, for the following episode, first part, I didn't have my camera on. So, doing well today. I'm, I'm on it. I'm all over this. So. <laughs> Professionalism at its finest. But anyway, enough of that. Um, enemy of my enemy. This is part two, so we're going to go for it now. Um... It's over in this region here. Yes, you may notice I went from the waypoint all the way back and round, because why not? Let's go the old scenic route, why not? So uh, you may notice the time is quite a lot further forward. I have actually been out and went shopping because uh, all the recordings had filled up my hard drive. So yeah, that was, that was something. So let's get on with this. Let's go. Uh, let's do this. The Beast Marshal. Oh yes. Oh yeah, that guy. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Of course you realise it's probably going to be a woman now and I'll be like, yeah, that's awkward. Hail. Hey, should I say, Archon? Have yes. you seen Ritlock or Kanak? Cuddles and Kanak arrived early. They want to be done with these disguises. So they already headed to Aronko's camp. Well, there you go. Cuddles. Your envoys are meeting with Beast Marshal Aronko now. My envoys? <sighs> we should have never let them go in alone. Hail, Archon. Your representatives and I were just discussing the situation about Baldazar. I see. How presumptuous. Stargate, isn't it? <clears throat> Forgive us, Sarkon. We meant no disrespect. We sought only to expedite matters, Archon. Mongrels! 
Next time you step out of line, I'll put you both back in the graves I salvaged you from. Now go! Beast Marshal, might I suggest that the next time Joko sends his Archon to speak with you, you not start the meeting without him? I assure you, Archon, nothing of import was discussed. In uh, fact, is a female, they that's spoke so highly of you, boasting of your superior riding skills. Of course. I like to think my mounted troops are without equal. Would you honor me with a demonstration of what makes you superior? Are you questioning my abilities? I mean no slight. But a mounted soldier requires more than just exceptional riding skills. Necromantic draining is essential if you hope to ride against Balthazar's horde. Show me how it works. If your soldiers can master the technique, how difficult can it be? You are most gracious, Archon. This way, please. Okay, so we're doing something on our mount. I'd be honored to guide you through the most basic of our necromantic draining skills. First, please mount up and enter the paddock. As you approach any of these beasts while mounted, you'll sense that the grasp of Joko is available to you. Use it. By draining the light from your target, you can imbue your mount with unnatural speed. My troops use this skill to tame the beast of the valley. Now, if you'll come with me. If you bring half the conviction to the battlefield that you did to my compound, then I look forward to fighting Balthazar with you. With me? Perhaps my companions misspoke in my absence, because Joko himself granted me sole command over his armies. If you're leading Ogun's shambling infantry or Ecolo's worms, yes. But mine is a specialized unit, requiring a particular expertise. As an Archon, I'm not accustomed to auditioning for command. And as this squad's leader, I'm not about to let my troops be slaughtered by someone else's ineptitude. However... Out of respect for the wishes of our beloved King Joko, I'll give you a chance to prove yourself worthy of assuming command. I have a test that measures my core members' abilities. If you successfully complete the Valley Beast circuit, I'll reconsider your request. So if I fail, you still have the honor of fighting alongside the Archon. But if I succeed, History shows you can lead. If you catch the beast with the grasp of Joko three times, you'll prove you can ride. Oh. To keep pace with the beast, you'll have to drain creatures in the area. There are also a few shortcuts for skilled mounts. All this chatter! It would have been faster and easier for me to just seize control of your troops. Very well, Archon. When you're ready to begin, simply step through this portal. Oh, God. Here we go. Now you're all going to see how bad I am at controlling <laughs> these things. Oh, God. As ever, Beast Marshal. Thank you. 
all she asked me, but I think I can do more. Inspired riding, Archon. You are truly deserving of Joe Cope's fame. I haven't witnessed such prowess since his eminence lashed together six hydras to run down the renegade to ride Osa. <laughs> I look forward to leading you and the others to victory against the Pretender God. It will be glorious. Hail Palawa Joko, Scourge Palawa of Joko. Bobby. Okay. Great work, Kaz. Now we have three of Joko's top marshals ready to follow us into battle. Did you hear something? Was the mighty Archon addressing our pack of filthy mongrels? <laughs> I might have gotten a little carried away back there. Maybe if the Archon whistled our marching orders in a higher register. Put you both back in the graves I salvaged you from? <laughs> Seriously, Commander? <laughs> okay, okay. But it did work. Time to focus <laughs> on the big battle ahead. Balthazar, make whatever preparations you need, and we'll see each other again at Kodash Bazaar. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. More accolades. So, basically we've recruited um, Joko's war marshals um, and we are going to now march with them towards Balthazar. Um, don't really know where Balthazar is, so I'm guessing heading towards Kralkatorik, which um, probably, yeah, there. Kodesh Bazaar, yeah, so because that's where the big purple blobby thing is, so that's I'm guessing that's where Kralkatorik is I'd imagine in the centre that, that'd kind of make the most sense, but let's do this, let's um, let's go for it, but that is a video for another day, my dear friends so I look forward to doing the whole leading um, the army as um, oh, whatever his name is, I forget now um, but yeah, we're going to be obviously disguised leading them. I wonder whether the, like, the disguise will drop at some point and they'll be like, Ah! Oh, you! You're not... You're not... Uh, Ibaru or whatever his name is. So, that'll be interesting. Interesting to see. Um, yeah, so Beast of War is what comes next. I'm going to go and do that. If it's an instance, I'll see you for that. And if it's not, I'll see you for whatever the next instance is. So, um... Yeah, we're heading towards Balthazar. Uh, the, the climax has kind of dropped a bit. Don't know whether you've noticed. Um, it's not really very exciting at the moment, but I'm sure as we meet Balthazar again, it will be very exciting, and hopefully, we can uh, we can go and uh, kill him. Hopefully, that would be nice. Even though I, my character did say in one of the last time we saw Balthazar, I don't want to kill you. It's really random that, you know, what, what, what were you expecting to do? Hold his hand and lead him to the mists, you know? I don't know. 
Anyway, anyway, that's enough of uh, that. That's enough of that. Um, I will catch you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all with affections unspeakable. And goodbye.